I'm never nervous before I study abroad. As I'm packing, I always think I can't wait to come back home just to see the growth and development within me, uh, the new friends that I meet, uh, the experiences that I love to share. All of that is just going through my mind before I leave. I thought it was only in movies, but it really tripped me out to see them drive on the right hand side. I swear this cab driver was ripping me off. He was running the meter before he even put my destination in. But as we were driving through the city, that's when it hit me that I was in another country. I chose to stay in a residencia rather than the homestay. And this was my home for the next three weeks. Irena was our guardian angel. She was showing us around and taking care of us. So the first day we met, she took us to Las Rambas and we had chocolate churros. Then it was party time. Turn up! Boy, did we pay for it the next morning in class. Another gaudy building. When I study abroad, I really don't do research before I leave. I wait till I get there and I just walk around and stumble on cool things and then do my research. It makes me appreciate where I am a lot more. Since I wasn't home for New Year's, I made sure that I went to church, so I went to the cathedral. And what made the cathedral so cool was the surrounding areas around the cathedral, there were always street performers. Being in another country for New Year's was cool, different, but cool. I was recording this guy sing Tina Turner and then this kid walks up and starts singing Tiger. Pretty funny. Our program gave us the weekend off, so I was headed to Amsterdam. My buddy Richard, who I had previously studied with in China, was touring Europe by himself and he suggested on these dates that we meet up in Amsterdam. Got off the plane and gave me a big donut. It's one thing to see great works of art in Art 101. It's another to see these things in person. Amazing. The red light district is everything advertised, and given that I'm a Christian, I can't talk about what goes here. <laughs> I stayed in a hostel for the first time, and it was an experience, but it's hard sleeping with 24 strangers, and some guy tickled my foot, too. These guys gave me a shot and told me Happy New Year. It burned my chest. Selfie. One more selfie. Selfie, selfie. Selfie. The magic fountain. <laughs> the magic fountain. The magic fountain. I forget what traditional dish we made, but I know I made a sauce that was fantastical.
I find it pretty cool how we don't know each other at the start, and then as we go on, we're sharing birthdays. Like anywhere in Barcelona, it takes a long walk to get there, and Park Güell was no different. But once I got there, I got to act like a big kid, so it was okay. You're not supposed to take pictures, but I was not going to go to the Picasso Museum and not not take pictures. Everybody was skateboarding in Barcelona, so it was contagious, so it made me want to skateboard. I got the chance to see Barcelona live and I was actually four rows back from the field and I am now a soccer fan and though I didn't get Messi's two goals on camera I did get names out. We had a weekend excursion in Madrid. Madrid's okay. Cold, but okay. As you can imagine, I did a lot of walking in Madrid, but I did see pretty much all of the touristy stuff in Madrid. At the temple, they both, they both. Look it up on Google. I can't get enough of street performance. <laughs> Me and Spidey had a blast. Time to make chocolates. I tried to tell people I can cook. I watch Chop every day. We had a break in between class, so I thought I would go to Sangrada La Familia. And man, this place is amazing. I mean, really amazing. So excuse all the weird sounds that I make. I was actually quite fascinated. Whoa. Excuse the footage. I'm more so enjoying myself in the moment and recording second. When I travel, tattoos are a must. We had a culture night and we went to this jazz club and though I couldn't understand a lick of what they were singing, but they were so passionate, it was so amazing. Hey, that day, Greco. For our last dinner, the whole squad went out to De Greco. I think that's how you say it, but we went there because Jay-Z and Beyonce ate there, but the food was actually amazing. Mount to be double. Hell, you gotta hike up a hill before you hike up a mountain. The trek to Tibidado was crazy. I know I got sick, and I think my step count was like 30,000. Getting closer.
It's weird because it's so tough to say goodbye because just three weeks ago we were all strangers and now we're all very close friends. So saying goodbye is so hard. Whip it out, girl. Whip it out. It was so nice to meet you. Get a deep, girl. Fabulous Last in Barcelona, Amsterdam, Madrid. All oh, this experience is so great. This guy drinks this big communion cup of alcohol. Then he looks at me if he were to challenge me. So I stood up and accepted the challenge. And then it resulted in the entire bar yelling El Jefe. Pretty cool. This is how I get to my terminal now.